Hold on, I gotta drink some water for this. Today, we're going to be going over the final antagonist of Solo Leveling, also known as Antares, or the Monarch of Destruction. Antares is a middle-aged man with long red hair, a neatly trimmed red beard, glowing red eyes, and a dark red tail. He also wore a silver red armor with a high collar and a reddish brown tail coat, also known as Drip God Jr. We all know who the senior is. <laughs> Antares's personality is a quite strange one. Due to having been born to destroy, Antares reveled in the destruction that he caused. He also had a very disdainful attitude towards humans and was willing to slaughter them by the millions in order to lure out the Shadow Monarch to face him in battle. Now, as far as Antares's history, eons ago, Antares fought alongside the other monarchs in a devastating war with the rulers at the behest of their creator, the Absolute Being. Although the monarchs fought hard, the rulers ultimately prevailed when the Shadow Monarch Ashborn suddenly disappeared after killing the Demon King Baron, forcing Antares and his surviving brethren to find refuge in the cracks between the dimensions. At some point after this, Ashborn returned and asked Antares if he could join back. As the other monarchs were still weakened from their loss to the rulers and needed time to restore their powers, Antares gladly granted his request. Centuries later, when the war with the rulers started up again in the human world, Antares was in the same pickle that Ashborn was in and could not find a human vessel strong enough to withstand his immense powers. As a result, while the other monarchs were able to find vessels for themselves relatively quickly and move about in the human world. However they pleased, Antares was forced to remain behind until a proper vessel for himself could be found. Shortly after Jin Wu killed the three monarchs who came after him in Korea, Antares learned from Yogamon that the Shadow Monarch had turned against them and annihilated most of their forces. Undaunted, Antares decided to deal with Ashborn's vessel himself and order his army of dragons to prepare for battle. Several days later, Antares descended into the human world through a gigantic gate in Canada and was met by a Canadian s rank hunter Jay Mills. Realizing that Jin Wu was not present, Antares killed Jay in one hit and unleashed his army onto the landscape, laying waste to the entire city and slaughtering tens of millions of innocent people, including Agent Adam White. With no one around to oppose him, Antares then gleefully ordered his army to destroy everything in sight. Now for Antares's abilities. As the strongest monarch, Antares was one of the most powerful individuals in existence, with only Ashborn holding a can to him in power, and even then, he was still superior to the Shadow Monarch in raw strength. Some of his skills, immense strength. As the strongest monarch, Antares possessed incomparably immense levels of physical strength. Dragon's Fear. Antares was able to release a mana infused shout from his soul, driving anyone weaker than him into a state of despair and panic. Breath of Destruction. Antares was able to spit devastating torrents of fire from his mouth. The power behind this attack was so great that it was able to reduce S rank hunters to ash in an instant and kill just about anything including Jin Wu shadow soldiers. Enhanced senses, immortality, magic spatial manipulation, monarchs can separate the targeted space between dimensions as well as create portals, aura, fire manipulation, light manipulation, existence erasure, higher existences can erase the beings from the very fabric of existence. His breath of destruction even erased Jin Wu shadow soldiers which are immortal and regenerate back as long as Jin Wu is alive. Dimensional travel, energy manipulation, energy projection, transformation can transform into a gigantic dragon made up of endlessly burning flames and boil lava, no physical interaction, weapon mastery, flight, healing, regeneration negation, sound manipulation, fear inducement, his roar causes an extreme amount of terror, pain, and confusion, a causality, a higher existence's memories of past, present, and even future aren't affected by the flow of time and easily transcends the boundaries of time itself, resistance, poison manipulation, ice manipulation, fire manipulation, magic. Antares's physical strength actually reaches higher than planetary level. Antares's destruction capability is strong enough to burn away everything in the world with merely a single breath. He quaked the entire planet as well as atmosphere violently with a roar, shook the entire planet just by taking a step to move. 
Antares's durability exceeds planetary level as seen when he fought Jin Wu and he was able to tank a bunch of Jin Wu's attacks. Antares's speed is faster than light. He matches up with Jin Wu as far as speed. At the moment, Antares has no notable weaknesses and he also uses a long sword mainly in his fights. Now to go into a little bit more detail with two of Antares's attacks that he uses mostly, Breath of Destruction, a blinding white beam of light fired from his mouth that moves at the speed of light. It is capable of erasing everything from existence in an instant. Even the immortal shadow soldier of Jin Wu having low godly regeneration couldn't survive it. And Dragon Emperor's Fear, a truly frightening roar that force freezes up everyone in an instant. Seemingly endless chain of ripples shake the atmosphere and even the planet quakes violently. Everyone affected by it goes in an extreme amount of terror, pain, confusion, and despair. 